So, compensating. All right, so here are the steps for completing the square. Okay, we want to change from the general form. This one right here is your general form to your standard form. So we use the same words we, as completing the square that we did before. The steps are a little bit different. Step number one now is the step that's different. In the past, you divided everything by the A value to complete the square. In this one, you factor out the A value. So I don't know if we should use, if we use completing the square for our method for the first one, should we come up with a new title for this so you don't mix up the two? Should we call this just changing to standard form? So when I talk about completing the square for solving, that's what we did already. And for this, we're going to call it changing to standard form because it's very similar, but there are some small differences. So the first difference in step one, we factor out A instead of dividing by A. Last time we left spaces on both sides of the equation. This time we leave two spaces on the same side of the equation. So that's a little bit different. And then we can write it in standard form. All right. So here's our example. We start by factoring out the A value out of the first two terms. So my first term is 2x squared. My second term is 8x. I can take that 2 out of there. That would leave me with x squared plus 4x. I leave a space. I still have plus 1 there. So I'm going to leave a space here and this time what's different is I leave another space on the same side. The completing the square part is similar to what you did before. You divide by 2 and square. Okay? When I divide 4 by 2 and square, I'm going to get plus 4. Well, we used to add 4 to the other side to make it equal. This is where this one's a little bit different because we have the spaces on the same side. So normally if you add 4 to the one side and subtract 4 at the same time, you would still be doing nothing. So we need to compensate in this space so that we do nothing. Now, our first intuitive guess is, oh, I added 4, so I should subtract 4. But we have to be careful because can you see that this 2 here, when it's distributed, would hit that 4. So I haven't actually added 4, I've added 8. By putting that 4 in that green space, can you see that I've added 8? So to compensate, I need to subtract 8. Since the spaces are on the same side, if you add in one space, you're going to have to subtract in the other space. The reason we do this is now this part in the brackets becomes x plus 2 squared. And my numbers outside the bracket becomes minus 7. And now we have it in standard form. Now we know that the vertex is at minus 2, minus 7. We know that our parabola is going up. And because the a value is 2, it goes over 1, up 2, over 1, up 6, over 1, up 10, and so on. So. This, I couldn't graph anything. I would know that it's going up because my A value is positive. But now I can graph it completely because I know my vertex and I know my A value. So you notice that the completing the square is a little bit different than we did before. So we're going to call this changing to standard form. So what do we need to do? We need to change to standard form. I might mention the word completing the square in there just to help trigger some of that. But it is a little bit different technique than last time. 